Throughout October, we have been far from short on Ashes of Creation news. With the Ranger reveal carrying our hype into the month and Steven's AMA in the middle of the month, we learned a lot more than I expected on the current state of Alpha 2's development. And now, this week, we have our monthly live stream to wrap up October. And although the Ranger reveal is going to be very hard to top, we now know what we will be seeing from Intrepid Studios in this monthly live stream. As with most of Steven's leaks, we head to Discord, where this month they will be going over gathering with some updates to the gameplay around logging, mining, and herbalism slash farming, all of which we have seen before in Alpha 1. But at that point, it was a bit meh compared to other MMO gathering. But it was Alpha 1, so it's understandable. And in case you missed it, this isn't the first time they've teased a gathering reveal. If you look way back in the first Ranger reveal tease a couple months ago, we saw a character chopping down a tree whilst avoiding assassination. Ashes of Creation's early iterations of Gathering were kind of boring in the grand scheme of how we all expect Ashes of Creation to play out, which again, Alpha is Alpha, and Alpha 1 was not meant to be a content test. And even though Narc's Discord loves to hear me talk about New World, I really hope that Intrepid takes a bite out of the New World playbook for the Gathering. Because the way mining and woodcutting feels in the game is nothing like any other, and I'd be content if they just removed the rest of the game behind it and just slapped the name Lumberjack Simulator over it. MMORPGs are meant to be immersive, and that should also include the gathering system. But it seems Intrepid has a pretty good handle on it. As Steven stated, he has never seen a tree fall like this in any MMORPG, teasing what's to come. It's so satisfying, he says. But I will be very disappointed if you can't hear the sound of mining and woodcutting echo through the forest of the zone you're in. In the tease they showed a couple months ago, they did have that lovely tree cutting sound, even if the visual effects of the tree actually splintering weren't quite there yet. I am hoping Intrepid has decided to go the route where most trees in the world can be chopped down and not just specific ones sprinkled throughout, with rarer trees popping up in different zones. It really helps tie the immersion together with the gathering, although I'm sure this can also put a strain on these servers at some times, and when Intrepid is trying to make these massive battles, they might need to cut out things like this, but I am no game dev and I don't really know how it works. Along with the gathering reveal, I assume we'll probably get even more of a look at the Riverlands as Steven scours the lands looking for the right resources to gather, although I would love to see the jungle biome or a bit more of the desert that we have seen in the trailer, but not actually any gameplay within, or any new biome to be honest. We've seen a lot of the Riverlands this year and I would love to see more of something else. The Artisan system is a huge feature for Ashes of Creation that will really build up the world's economy, causing the servers to rely heavily on players to get those resources moving from node to node, setting up trade networks and alliances to get things done. And a feature this big really needs to get the immersion right, because gathering is not the most fun activity in the game, but it can easily be made more enjoyable through the sounds and the visuals of the world. What are you hoping to see out of the updated gathering system in the October Ashes of Creation livestream? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetic packs, or just hang out until you can finally jump into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.